Taking your motorcycle brakes for granted right up to the point where they stop working can be hazardous. So if you look after your brakes, they'll look after you. With this in mind, let's take a look at how to inspect your motorcycle brake system. Disc brakes are a combination of mechanical, hydraulic and consumable parts. It only takes a failure in one of these areas and you're in trouble. The good news is the only tool you'll need to inspect your brakes is a torch. You may have an inspection cover on the top of the caliper or need some manoeuvring to find the best view. Either way, shine your torch into the caliper to see how much material remains on the pads. There should be around 1.5 to 2 millimeters of pad material as a bare minimum. The pads feature wear grooves and when the pad material is worn enough for the grooves to almost disappear, it's time for a change. When the time comes to replace the pads, Bendix Moto makes choosing easy, offering two types of brake pads. For commuters, scooters, lightweight or classic bikes, Bendix Ultimate Plus ceramic pads have low dust, noise and wear but have increased feel at low and moderate speeds. Heavy duty cruisers, tourers, sports and dirt bikes need the Bendix Street Road Track Pads, otherwise known as SRT. These sintered pads can handle wet, dry, hot, cold or muddy conditions. The best pads in the world are only as good as the disc rotor they grab a hold of, so regular inspection is necessary. First. Run your finger across the disc from the center outwards. If the disc surface has ridges or a lip on the inner or outer edge of the disc, the brake performance is compromised. Also, years of use and abuse can warp a brake rotor. You can feel the oscillation from a warped disc through the brake lever. If the disc rotor shows signs of scoring or warping, consult a mechanic to get it changed. Have you noticed uneven wear on the brake pads? If so, the brake pistons may be sticking or seized. To carry out a quick visual inspection, you'll need to get the wheel you're checking off the ground. Then with one hand, spin the wheel. When applying the brake, the wheel should stop immediately. Next, straight after, spin the wheel again. There's a problem with the brake pistons if you feel any resistance from the wheel or if it won't move at all. Servicing the brake caliper pistons is another job best left to a trained mechanic. Brake calipers are reasonably bulletproof, so there's not much that can go wrong with them other than crash damage. Having said this, when doing a visual inspection, check the securing bolts are tight. Also, there should be no residue or leaks around the brake line banjo bolt. The bleed nipple should have a rubber cover and you need to keep the area clean. Most OEM brake nipples are mild steel. This metal rusts easy, making removing or loosening brake line nipples a real challenge. Whether you're running OEM rubber brake lines or aftermarket steel ones, wipe the line clean, then check the entire length from the reservoir to the caliper. Look for bends, creases, nicks, leaks or chafing due to the line rubbing on another component. If any part of the brake line disappears from view behind the steering head or swing arm, keep looking with a torch. First, check the outside of the reservoir for leaks or misting. Most modern brake reservoirs have an inspection window to view the upper and lower limit of the brake fluid. This design means removing the cap should be unnecessary. Should you need to remove the cap, cover the nearby paintwork and clean the reservoir body before opening to avoid fluid contamination. When checking the brake fluid level, the motorcycle should be upright. If you need to top up, consult the owner's manual to find the correct grade of brake fluid and remember to flush and renew brake fluid after two years using Bendix DOT3 or DOT4 fluids. Most times, brake issues are apparent. Sometimes though, by the time they make themselves known, it's already a problem. While some components in the brake system can fail unexpectedly, regular inspection is the best way to keep things in A1 condition. Once again, prevention is better than cure. Although anyone can carry out a brake system inspection, it's always wise to consult a trained mechanic if you need any work carried out. For more information, visit bendixmoto.com.au Bendix Moto. Ride with confidence.